At the 8th Annual Oncology Practice Summit, Dr. George Kim gave us an update on developments in the treatment of colon and GI cancers. For, uh, for a practicing doctor, practicing community oncologist, um, what um, uh, is practice changing development in the past 12 months in colorectal? Uh, so the TML data using bevacizumab, Avastin, uh, going from first line into second line, I think helps validate what we've been doing, uh, what's been practiced in the community for years. Uh, we finally have a randomized trial that shows that that is a valid practice, it helps patients, and uh, we're able to maintain overall survival benefits. Um, also for practicing physicians, we have this agent, Aflibercept, VEGF trap. Uh, that drug also will uh, provide some benefits to patients, uh, anti-angiogenic therapy, and we're going to have to learn how to incorporate that into treatment. And then regorafenib, now we have a drug for patients that have exhausted all therapies, they're still having good performance, they're, they're still functioning, but they want another treatment, and regorafenib is that opportunity, and that's an important drug, and we're going to learn how to give that drug in the community and how the side effects are, are managed um, but that's a, that's a key uh, uh, new therapy f in the community. Okay. And pancreatic cancer, you mentioned that we have this new exactly. option. Exactly. And right. in pancreatic cancer, we're going to have to figure out which, uh, which of the therapies works best. Uh, I use a lot of fulfirinox. Uh, we reduce the dose of the arena TCAM by about 20%. We take the bolus 5 a few down by 20% or hold it. And it's fairly manageable. Hopefully the outcomes will be as good as using full-dose gem, uh, gemcitabine and nabraxane. So, uh, lots of uh, new practice changing therapies uh, that are going to be applied out in the real world, out in the community. Okay, and what's new in gastric cancer? Anything? Gastric cancer, I think, is the anti VEGF therapy. Um, <clears throat> a trial, Ramacirumab, was uh, uh, studied as second line therapy, um, and I, I think that that will be the future that we will bring uh, anti angiogenic therapies into upper GI cancers. Um, and I, I hope that will be uh, very uh, helpful for patients. And in the future, there is the potential that that will change uh, how we practice in the community. Okay. Good.